How has working from home changed employment? There are three main ways, cutting transportation expenses, lowering the overhead for companies, and better productivity for employees. Working from home benefits everyone, companies and employees alike. Yes, there are some pros and cons for telecommunicating. However, the benefits outweigh the negatives. This is fast becoming the way of the future. For my first point is from a study that was done in each state with the U.S. Census Bureau in 2017. The following information comes from an article that was published um, in July of 2019 on businessinsider.com. Commuting cost employees thousands of dollars a year. Just right here in Kentucky, the average is a little over $2,200 annually per employee. Average time commuting back and forth to work is roughly 23 minutes. Also, considering for gas, wear and tear on your vehicle, public transit, car rentals, etc., adding in the facts that most households have two working adults, that costs doubles. When most people are busy making minimum wage, barely making minimum wage, that is a huge expense when you put it into that perspective. With rising costs, the figure will fluctuate somewhat. In that same study, 82% drove alone versus only 9% who carpooled. Surprisingly, North Dakota had the highest commute volume, commute cost, I'm sorry. Uh, their average was a little over $5,000 with a commute of 16 and a half minutes. In that study, 82% drove and just 8.2, I'm sorry, 8, 82% drove alone and 8.2% uh, carpooled. That is a lot of driving alone. That could cost, that could be, that could be carpooling or better yet, working from their own home office and, re and reducing our carbon footprint. The second point is not only it benefits employees, but the employers themselves. More and more businesses are finding it easier and more cost effective to have employees telecommute. Let's look at a typical call center. The employer provides a computer, headset, desk, a building, lights, heating and cooling, the list goes on and on. Those expenses add up quickly. When employees work from home, business no longer incurs these major expenses. That not only benefits the employer, but frees up more money to pay its employees. One study shows that if a company was to allow just one employee to stay home for six months, work from home for six months, they would save $11,000 annually. Not only that, but the employee would save upwards of up to $7,000. The study further says that would be a $700 billion savings on a national scale. It's no wonder that working from home is becoming such a hot, hot uh, market. My final and possibly favorite point is better efficiency by being your own boss. Think about this for a moment. Working from home the distractions are almost eliminated. Normal people stopping by your desk on the way to the water cooler or the bathroom to stop and spend 15 minutes gossiping. You have a quieter atmosphere as you no longer share a cubicle surrounded by thousands of people doing exactly what you're doing. Working from home allows you to be your own boss. Yes, you must be a little bit more driven, not to slack off. Working from home does have its drawbacks as well. You will more than likely spend breaks and lunchtime <clears throat> alone. That is, of course, if you don't have kids and it's not summer vacation. Uh, it does take some getting used to. But once you do, the pros will outweigh the cons. Why? I mean, who wouldn't love for every day, every day to be casual Friday? So in closing... The main points I would like to leave you with on how working from home has changed the workforce, cutting transportation, lowering overhead for companies, and better productivity uh, by employees. These are all ways that our working from home is changing the landscape of how employers 
can and will save money. Um, hell, we can save on trans transportation costs tremendously. Less time stuck in traffic or working long hours added with a long commute that takes time that makes us a less productive employee. Just think of how much more time would be freed up just to spend with loved ones enjoying a hobby or relaxing. Thank you and have a blessed day.